So today we're here at the BBC TV Centre because they've asked us to come down and review one of their new products on the line by the one company. We're going to take a look at the 12 Doctor's Sun Screwdriver Universal Remote Control. So let's go have a look. This is a device for any Doctor Who fan. Mainly because the way the remote works is just like you have a real world version of the Doctor's trusty screwdriver. The remote control comes in an elegantly designed box along with a stand in the style of Time World Scripture and a stunningly designed blueprint poster of the Sonic to accompany the instructions. As you can see, the build of this product is fantastic and it has a decent weight to it, allowing you to feel good when holding the control in your hand. After a talk and a brief demonstration, I had a go at some of the gestures which you can program into control devices, from TVs to iPod docks. The current design of the Sonic Screwdriver has been used over the last five years and has been an essential for both the 11th and 12th Doctor. On first look at the product, you may ask, what's the difference between this and the previous model, released in 2012? We spoke to Christopher Bernarda to find out more. So the first thing is this flicks open where the other one didn't. So of course that means that there are some bits inside it that are different. The um, working from the front to the back, the tip's different. It doesn't have the IR window in the end because we've got a clearer tip. A lot of people might not know this, but they, the props, they use three different props in the show and some, one of them has a quite a milky green tip like this and one of them has quite an emerald green tip like that. So we chose to go this way, uh, the new one, so that we didn't have to have the window in the end. The infrared can shine through this easier. We've made the claws slightly thicker at the end to make them more accurate. At this end of the, the other end of the Sonic, we've taken the button off the end and as you can see here, we've put it into the grip which means that you can use it much more easily. And this end of the Sonic now looks, um, this one is much more like the original prop, but the prop has evolved over time, so that the new prop for the new Sonic, the Dr. Peter Capaldi, looks more like this, so we've covered that. Um, as you can see, the Baker, what they call the Bakelite handle part, um, in this case, it's, it's the props have actually faded with time and they've gone a bit yellow so we've changed the colour to match that and we've got little flecks in there because there are little flecks of um, black on the handle. Whilst we had the chance, we asked Christopher a few more questions. As a TV remote, it's it's a learning remote so you have to learn the codes from your remote control, you could use it on television but you could also use it on anything that has an infrared remote control, that could be a ceiling fan or um, it could be a Blu-ray player, a DVD player, that kind of thing, or your iPod dock. So really anything that has a remote control, infrared remote control. And I really like science fiction and then it seems a natural thing to try and make the pops that you see in, in the programs. So before I started doing this I had made, years ago, before I was actually doing it as a job, I was making ones for my kids, you know, and um, making little, I made a little K9 um, on a remote control car and stuff like that. And it's almost a dream come true to be able to make products and sell them to lots of people. So yeah. Do you use this at home at all? I do actually. I have one in my office. So I just have it on my desk at home. Or well, actually I have it on the windowsill. And then it, people will come in my office and then it will start going do 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 What the hell's that? It's my son, it's As this was a BBC Worldwide invitation, some of our items were on display to be released at Christmas time this year. The products were a traditional styled Christmas jumper accompanied by a t-shirt. Look at what the snow's like 3D. Along with this were two stunning hoodie styled jumpers featuring images of the TARDIS and a Cyberman on the back. That's all we have time for though today. Please comment on the review and let us know what you thought. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.